hello and welcome to Small Seeds. Today we are going to be making an herb infused oil. This is one of my favorite ways to make home remedies from the herbs that we grow in the garden and also herbs that we forage. The great part about it is you don't need to grow your own herbs or forage for them either. You can just buy some dried herbs online or in a store and you can make it as well. So today we are going to be using the folk method of infusing our herbs into oil. This is a super simple method and it is a great way for beginners to start infusing herbs into oil. So today we are going to infuse some chamomile flowers into oil. We are going to infuse some comfrey leaves. And we are also going to infuse some wild violet leaves and flowers some plantain leaves, and some purple dead nettle leaves and flowers as well. We grew the chamomile and the comfrey, and then in this jar we have the mixture of the wild violet, plantain, and purple dead nettle, and these were all foraged in the springtime and then dried out. So, let's get into it. All that you are going to really need for this method is your dried herbs, a jar to infuse the herbs into the oil, and your oil of choice. And then later on, after the infusion process is finished, you will need some cheesecloth, a strainer, and another jar to store your oil in, preferably an amber glass bottle. You are going to want to have your jar filled about halfway with your dried herbs, and then we are going to just cover it the rest of the way with oil. So I prefer to use olive oil for most of our herbal infused oils, and I also use some sweet almond oil sometimes as well. This one I use more for um, skincare uh, products, uh, massage oils, massage bars, uh, and lip balms. Now today we are mainly going to be making these infused oils for salves, and with salves I prefer to use the olive oil but there are many other oils that you can use. It's really all about your preference. Let's do it. So let's start with our chamomile here. Okay. All right, so we are going to just pour it in. The thing I like a lot about the folk method is that it's simple and by using the dried herbs you are less likely to have your oil go rancid or have problems with mold. So here we go. Now some of the herbs will float to the top. It's not a problem as long as they are covered in oil. Okay, so we are going to just kind of lightly stir it and make sure that we get any air bubbles that are in the oil out. So now what I like to do is I like to let it sit a little bit before I cover it. So that way if there are any extra air bubbles there, they can be released. Okay. I'm just going to put this to the side. I'm gonna clean this up real quick. And then we are going to start with our comfrey. It hasn't quite moved through the bottom of the herb here, so I will give it a little bit of encouragement. Now with these comfrey leaves, I did um, grind them up a bit before adding the oil. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to finish adding the oil. bubbled up a little bit more. Okay, another mix here. Okay, so we're going to put our comfrey to the side now and start 
start our purple dead nettle, wild violet, and plantain. So for this mixture specifically, I'm going to be adding this into an herbal salve for minor cuts, scrapes, bug bites, and I'm also going to see how it works with poison ivy rashes. It is so hot today. If you see me sweating, you know why. Alright. So, uh, uh. we have our chamomile, we have our comfrey, and we have our purple dead nettle, wild violet, and plantain. So like I said, this one will be for a salve for minor scrapes and minor cuts, uh, bug bites, possibly poison ivy rashes. We'll see how it works on that. The chamomile I will be adding to lip balms, uh, massage oils, and we'll also be adding it with the comfrey to a salve that we use for aches and pains, uh, like joint pain, back pain, if you have a pulled muscle, and we add the, the chamomile and comfrey with some mullein infused oil and also some arnica infused oil. And we use this one and it's, it works wonderfully. And I think that's why I love making these remedies so much because I can make them myself for my family and friends and they work, they actually work. It's just a wonderful uh, feeling to be able to um, run into the cabinet and grab a salve that you made and put it on your child's little scratch or uh, scraped knee and have them feel a lot better. Alright, so I think most of the air bubbles are out of here. So we are going to put a lid on everything. Now that we have finished adding the oil to our herbs, we are going to label them with the date that we have started the infusion process with the herbs that are in there. And the next step to this process is simply letting your herbs infuse in the oil. And for the folk method, you will put these in a sunny windowsill. And with these oils, you're going to want to give them a shake every day or so, maybe once or twice a day. And for the first couple of days after shaking, I will open up the jar and kind of just check on it. So, let us just shake it up a little bit. You can get fun, you can do a little dance, shake your oil. Yeah, we're infusing herbs into oil. Mm, mm, mm. Then, once they are finished infusing in about four weeks, we will be straining them into amber glass jars. And the last thing I would like to mention is that I am not a trained herbalist, I am not an expert. This is just a super simple way to make your own herb infused oils. There are other methods as well, but I find this to be one of the easiest methods, especially if you are a beginner. This is a great way to start learning more about making your own remedies.